Good morning, Year Four. Um, it's Wednesday, and this is Week Twelve, Lesson Three: Consolidate Fractions. Okay, so we are doing a little vision out of the Maths Diary. Um, so here we can see the fraction three fifths, the number, the digit on the top is the numerator which tells you how many parts you have the digit at the bottom is called the denominator and that tells you how many parts are in the whole so we came across the term unit fractions okay where the numerator is the same as one so you can see all the examples with a numerator which is the same as one and then we have a non-unit fraction where the numerator is greater than one and there we just have a lot of examples we have improper fractions where the numerator is greater than the denominator so here we can see some examples and we actually know this is really means division okay and mixed numbers which have whole and a fraction okay so some more examples of mixed numbers so changing improper fractions to mixed numbers so 18 fifths is actually the same as 18 divided by 5 Okay, so you can get three whole groups of five out of 18 with a remainder of three fifths. Okay, and there we've got the clue of use black boxes to do the division if it helps you. All right, so you can work through those examples. So I've drawn the uh, fraction wall for the halves family okay. so here we can see this part of the wall is divided into two equal parts is then divided each half is then divided in half again which gives us four equal parts okay and each of those quarters is then divided in half again which gives us eight equal parts okay so you can see to have a whole strip of halves you need two halves four quarters eight eighths to be the same as one whole so here we can see uh, fractions family for thirds okay so here's the one whole the next strip is divided into three equal parts into thirds each of those thirds is then divided in half again so you have six equal parts in this strip and then each of those sixths is divided in half again Okay, so we end up with 12 equal parts in this strip. Right, and that can help us with equivalent fractions. So using this example, so if we look at one third, that will be the same as two sixths, and that is the same as four twelfths okay just have a look at the next one if we can and so we've got two thirds there's my two thirds one two three four sixths and then two four six eight twelfths right so the fraction rules are good at helping us with our equivalent fractions. 
here we go. Finding a fraction of a quantity. So if I want to find three fifths of 20, my whole is worth 20 and my strip is divided into five equal parts. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing 20 divided by five, okay? And 20 divided by five is four. So each fifth must be worth four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, okay? And I have not one fifth, but three fifths. So I have to think, right, I've got this fifth, which is worth four, this fifth, which is worth four, this fifth, which is worth four. So three fifths is four, eight, 12. So three fifths of 20 is 12. Here we can see another example, three quarters of 28. So my whole is worth 28 and it's been divided into quarters for equal parts. So what is 28 divided by four? Okay, and that's seven. So each of these quarters is worth seven. All right, so we've got seven, 14, 21, 28. And if I've got three quarters, I've got 21, okay? Because three quarters of 28 is 21. And here we have fraction number lines with the increasing quarters going up into improper fractions, okay? and then showing you in mixed numbers where you get to the holes, all right? So you need to be able to count in improper fractions and mixed numbers as well, okay? So let's have a look. One quarter, two quarters, three quarters, one. That's where you've got four out of the four. So you've got the whole one, one and one quarter, one and two quarters, one and three quarters, two. So that's where you would then add a quarter and you get two holes. And this is our last page, which I've taken out of uh, somebody who's now in year six or just finishing year six. Okay, so this is adding and subtracting fractions. And the most important thing to remember is the denominator stays the same. Okay, so here we have three fifths plus two fifths plus eight fifths. And you can see that we are adding fifths. Okay, so the denominator in our answer is the same and then we it's just a case of adding three two and eight of the numerators to give us our total of 13 fifths okay and if we look at the subtraction again you can see the denominator stays the same because we're starting with 17 fifths we're then subtracting three of them. We're then subtracting three, uh, four more. Okay, so we're left with ten fifths. Okay, All right. So that's it for today. I'm going to put some um, links on the class page for work and practice. Okay, so work hard, have fun, um, and we've only got two days left of year four.
So work hard, have fun.